Debt has ruined so many people in their lives. Most people took loans in aid of their businesses, in aid of their houses and their education as well. And it has ended them in a situation where it has ruined their lives, okay? So it is always appropriate to find smart ways or proper ways of paying your debt so that it doesn't become a problem for you and your family. Today, I'm talking to you guys about four smart ways to pay off your student loans. I know student loans can sometimes be worrisome because when you are in university, you think that after school, you are definitely going to get a job so that you can start paying off your student loan. But the problem comes in when you are not getting a job right after school, especially those of us in Africa and particularly in Ghana, it becomes a very big problem for you. So today I decided to do this video as someone who share in your experience and in your pain to teach you four smart ways to pay off your loan once and for all. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Keep watching and listening to Love Doctor OB for your relationship advice, life goals and financial tips. Welcome back guys. My name is Brian OB. You can call me Love Doctor. OB on all social media handles, you can actually find me over there. I'm a relationship expert, I'm a researcher as well and a financial analyst. So every week I bring you videos concerning relationships, life goals, and financial matters. Okay, so if you are new here, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button, which is very, very important to me. And also you can turn on all notifications so that whenever there's a new video, you will actually get it before anyone else does it. And let me issue the disclaimer, this video was not done for anybody it wasn't sponsored by anybody so the idea was to help my colleagues my friends who find themselves wanting in paying their student loan which has become a rope which is hanging them so on the smart ways to pay off your student loan the first thing is that plan and spread the debt over the subsequent months yes that's right you've got to make a plan you know the point is that when we are all going for the loan we think that it is quite easier to be paying it off when we are done with school. But at least when they explain it to you, they will tell you that, oh, they will be taking about 200 CDs, about 300 CDs per month. And so you anticipate that you would be getting a job that will be paying you more than even 1,000 Ghana CDs, which means, oh, it is a small amount of money that you're going to pay it off. But when you come outside and you face the reality, you realize that the jobs are not even there and the amount People are, the employers are even willing to offer you, it's not even sufficient to cater for your needs. How much more the student loan department going to take this from it? So it becomes very difficult. Okay, so when you come out and you are here to get a job, okay, sometimes you think you're going to get a job that you're going to be put on payroll so that they can deduct from the source, but sometimes you're not getting it. And until you get it, you will see that they will be sending you notification and messages that you've got to start paying your loans. And remember that the moment you don't start paying your loan, the interest rate keeps accumulating and your debt keeps increasing. So one thing you have to do is that it doesn't matter whether you are working or not. Definitely you'll be having some small amount of money that you are earning, whether you are selling something, whether you are working for yourself, whether you are earning something little, you've got to spread the debt. And so let's say if you have about 6,000 Ghana cities to pay, what you have to do is that depending on your strength, you can spread it over the month for the next three years, four years depending on your capacity and pay accordingly every month. Because if you have to wait till you get a job that puts you on a payroll or pays you every month, it is going to be very, very difficult for you. And the interest will keep accumulating. But remember that once you spread it across and you start paying it off little by little, the interest rate or the rate at which your debt is growing diminishes. It grows at a diminishing rate compared to if you don't start paying and waiting for that dream job that you've been expecting. You know, the next thing is that sometimes most people do plan, like myself. I got to a time I wanted to plan on how to pay my student loan, but I paid for some month and I stopped for some time and then I came to continue later on. I realized that when I was paying, I was feeling happy about myself, but when the commitment stops, that's where the problem comes in. So it's not just about planning and then spreading over the months, but make it a point to pay it off or to make commitment to whatever that you plan of paying. So if you said you go to pay 100 Ghana cities every month, make sure you stay committed to the 100 Ghana and pay it. Sometimes even if you do not have that full amount, try to pay about 80, 50 or little that you can get. Remember, debt is not a good thing for every individual. 
that if you are using it to create wealth or something, for that one, it can be a positive thing. And that one, you are not using your own money to even pay, but the proceeds from the organization or from the company. But this time, you are paying from your own hard-earned money. And so you've got to clear it off so that you can get time to do other things. So stay committed to the plan you've initiated and be making committed payment as you have planned earlier. Now, the next thing is that if your income increases, you've got to increase the payment as well. For example, let's say you plan, you decide that I'm going to pay 100 CDs or 200 CDs every month. But fortunately, moving forward, let's say your salary got increased or let's say your income got increased, your profit got increased. Don't stay committed to the old one. Try to increase it. Remember, the idea is that you've got to pay the debt off as soon as possible because when you are debt free, you have the will, you have the freedom to do whatever you want to do. Those monies can be channeled because while the debt keeps longer, your interest rate keeps increasing. So the idea is that you've got to settle the debt as soon as possible. But you're not going to entangle yourself so much with the debt so that you wouldn't have space to breathe or no money to feed yourself or buy your other stuff. So when you have your income, your profit, or your salary increased by a particular percentage, try your possible best and increase the amount, the monthly commitment you intended paying. So if you were paying 100, you can actually increase it to 120, 150, or 200 if you have the capacity paying that old amount if you have an increased salary. Remember, you've got to pay it off as soon as possible. The last thing I'm going to talk to you about is that Whenever you know that over a year or over a period, you would be able to pay, let's say, for one year, okay? You know that the rate at which the interest rate on your student loan is growing, let's say, 12%, 13%. So you know that per annum, it is going to be growing at the rate of 12%. So with the amount that you have decided to spread over the month, you can invest that amount in a profitable venture, let's say in treasury bond, which has a higher interest rate, in mutual funds, which has a higher interest rate, in, in let's say some sort of fixed deposit, one year, two year, three year, which have a higher interest rate. And when you invest it in those ventures, at the end of the year or at the end of the period, you take that whole amount of money and then deposit it into your debt. Remember, commitment is key. The idea was that you were supposed to use that amount to pay the debt off. But you were smart enough to invest that amount in those ventures. Now, the amount which was supposed to accumulate, which was not going to earn any interest for you, has been able to earn interest. Now, you're going to use that amount of money to pay off. And realize that when you calculate the difference, you've been able to make much more money, which is going to help you pay off your debt as soon as possible. So these are the smart ways that I've got for you guys today on how to settle off your student loan. I know it can really be hectic. I've been there before and I know how they keep sending you messages, sending you notifications. Sometimes they can even threaten you that they're going to publish your name in the newspapers, which can sometimes be frustrating and then humiliating. Okay, So don't think that debt is a good thing as people always say. It is good when you are using it for business, which you intend to use the profit to pay off the debt. But when it is coming from you, it is not a good thing and you have to try your possible best to settle it so that you avoid those humiliations and frustrations. I hope this one helps you and you settle your debt as soon as possible to spend your money on whatever you want to spend your money on so that you don't find yourself wanting. So this and other similar videos concerning financial stuff is what I bring to you almost every week. So if you are new here, please don't hesitate to hit on the subscribe button. I would appreciate that. And the notification bell as well, an indication that whenever there's a new video, you actually get it before anyone else does it. So I wouldn't want to waste so much of your time. I will see you in my next video. Stay blessed.